where do you put Manny Pacquiao all time pound for pound? I reckon it's somewhere in the teens. You are the keeper of such lists. Where is Manny Pacquiao as of tonight pound for pound? Well, I've already accorded him the greatest Asian fighter ever, the greatest left-handed fighter ever. He's easily in the top 20. He did something so unprecedented tonight. He's sort of the evil Knievel of boxing. He leaps over tall divisions in a single bounce, and he's gone all the way up seven divisions, winning seven titles. Something only done in respect to the number of divisions by Henry Armstrong in 38 when he won three of the then eight and fought for a fourth and got a draw. Mm -hmm. This is equal, and remember, I have Armstrong number two all time. Mm -hmm. So you've got to give Pacquiao a high place in the pantheon. Right. That's very high praise. Uh, also, now, when you look at Pacquiao and what he has done in the wins that he's had, he's had epics before uh, with Morales, mm -hmm. with Juan Manuel Marquez. Where do you think this rates among his personal best fights? For four rounds, this was Hagler Hearns. Mm -hmm but it changed. It was Pacquiao, Pacquiao, and more Pacquiao mm -hmm. to the point where, dare I even use a Muhammad Aliism, this was a one-sided weapon by the end. It really was. And the referee, I think, humanely stopped it mm -hmm. with an accord from the corner. But I thought it was a great effort for one reason. He wasn't afraid to walk into the wheelhouse of, Ma of Miguel Cotto, a welterweight with a heavier punch, and duke it out with him one-on-one. -on -one. That gained a lot of respect for me and most of the people in the press section. Oh, yeah. High respect <laughs> all, all, all around. Goes without saying. But he said it. Rock on tour. Bon vivant. And by, by boxing historian Burt Randolph Sugar. Th thank you, Burt.